It's a great room, isn't it? The new room. I miss parts of the old one. Not knowing if the stage was going to collapse. Or... <laughs> when you become legendary, it means you're old. Well, I'm going to play a bunch of songs and then we'll all leave. That's about it. <laughs> song, 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 song. This first one I wrote for a play. I did a play out in Malibu uh, December, I mean, in the summer of 2019, right before uh, COVID hit. And the play was at the Getty Villa. And they put me up for six months in my own apartment a block from the beach at, at Venice Beach. It didn't suck. <laughs> and coincidentally, my apartment was on the same alleyway that the photo for the cover photo for The Long Road was taken. I know. But the play was called The Heel. It was a modernization of an old Sophocles play, as opposed to the new Sophocles plays that we all enjoy so much. But it was about a wounded Trojan sol soldier that was bit on the heel by a serpent and it was cursed and the heel never healed. That's why he was called the heel, get it? <laughs> so he, his, his crew couldn't stand his constant screaming and um, they threw him off the boat on an abandoned island where he lived for 10 years alone in pain. And I said, why'd you ask me to write the music for this? <laughs> <laughs> Typecasting. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you think you're alone for what's happened to you. You believe you've been blamed for things you didn't do. Don't assume you're left out. No one is excluded. Take a good look around. Everyone's wounded. Everyone's limping, writhing in pain. The symptoms are different, but they're really the same. There's no membership here, no all are included. And the name of this club is Everyone's Wounded. We all wear masks to hide the pain. You may think you're alone, but we all feel the same. Take a look at that person in the seat next to you. They may look like they're fine, but they're wounded too. Complain all you like, nobody's there. Can't count on your friends, because nobody cares. This is a fact that can't be disputed. We're all in the same boat. Everyone's wounded. Everything that they do between the give and the take I have concluded we all make mistakes Everyone's wounded Everyone's wounded Everyone's wounded Thank you So opening night, I'm leaving my dressing room. Hey, Ed, Mary, good, how are you guys? Uh, I'm leaving my dressing room and there's a folk fan there. You know, somebody found me in Malibu. And I knew she was folk because she came up to me and she said, um, I don't mean to be critical, <laughs> which means you're about to be criticized, you know? <laughs> and she said, I'm not wounded. <laughs> I 
I said, you do realize this is a play, right? <laughs> she thought she was going to a folk show. And when I have that line where I say, uh, take a look at that person in the seat next to you, I never saw anybody do it the whole run of the play. <laughs> to do a play in a museum. The Getty Villa is a, is a museum of all Greek Ro and Roman art. So my breaks were pretty good. So they, they have, I have this beautiful apartment a block from the ocean and I have a driver and most of the rehearsals were catered and I was like, you really don't know what I do for a living, do you? <laughs> And um, the first play I did for these people was Taming of the Shrew at the Folger Theater in Washington, D.C. And it was because of this next song that I got the part, because I mentioned Shakespeare's name in it. <laughs> and they were listening to a bunch of different singer-songwriters, and the producer heard me say Shakespeare. She said, why not him? <laughs> True story. No sailboat, no deep blue sea, no candlelight, just you and me, no violins. Just jungle beat, just warm wet night in city street. Just a rising mud, no moon above that kind of love. I can hear the noise as I try to sleep. I can hear your voice. Making love to me I can hear some fool Who's up on a balcony Just a Shakespeare drunk Killing poetry I think I know What you're dreaming of That kind of love Everybody worries, everybody runs, everybody runs, everybody searches, somebody settles, everybody wants to be in love. No big house, no big hill. Little rule, no big thrill. Summer hot, winter chill. I love you and I always will. Tongue in cheek, hand in glove. Do you know what I'm thinking of? That kind of love. That kind of love, that kind of love.
I spent last week in Kerrville, Texas, teaching uh, songwriting at, at uh, Shriner College or Shriner University. And the guy who heads the songwriting program, um, he has guests every month come down and teach. And he said, play that kind of love. I think my students would love that. It has so much space in it. And so I played it. And I said, any questions? And all three said, how do you do that thing with the, the string? <laughs> None of them could do it, you know, so I had to spend the next hour looking to people like <laughs> the joy of teaching kids, you know. And then they asked me how, if I knew anybody famous. I, wa I definitely wasn't enough for them. <laughs> I had the smart business move to uh, put out a CD during the pandemic. <laughs> it sold several copies worldwide. <laughs> and um, this is one of the songs from it. It's called The Things I Left Behind. And I just did a house concert in New Jersey and, and the hostess chose my whole set. She said, this is the set you're playing with. Like, Where's the ring I should kiss? You know? <laughs> so <laughs> it's called the things I left behind, and she wrote down the things in my behind. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I've been calling it lately. <laughs> A little 14-year-old humor doesn't hurt these old bones, you know? <laughs> the things in my behind. Those kids in Kerbal would have loved that title. <laughs> this started out, I wrote this song, I, I do a tour every year with John Gorka, Patty Larkin, and, and Lucy Kaplansky. Actually, we were in Albany this year. Yep, we were <laughs> you must have been those two people in the audience, right? <laughs> but, um, it's a fun tour, but we did it 2019. We were out in the Midwest, and I drive with John because of my sense of humor. The girls don't want to drive with us. <laughs> and um, so we were, we were in Chicago, and we're about an hour outside of Chicago, headed toward Madison, Wisconsin. I went, oh, I left my iPad in the hotel room. You have to call, and they were like, you know, there's a $50 time to ship it. Yeah. And then next day we're in Madison, we're halfway to Minnesota, and I went, oh no, I left all my shirts in the hotel room. <laughs> then, of course, we get to Minneapolis, and I'm flying home, and I went, I left all my books in the hotel room. So I wrote this, started writing it as a funny song to play to John. It was called The Shit I Left Behind. <laughs> But songs are funny. Sometimes you're writing about a subject and the song goes, nah, that's, no, you're not writing it about that. You're writing it about this. So that happened in this song. And then, of course, it became, as you all know, the things in my behind. I left my passport back in customs I left my hat upon the rack I left my phone in my hotel room And it's never coming back and All my things belong to others There's no such phrase as lost and find I'm getting sentimental Sharper than a knife She 
vowed she would be faithful Though we were never man and wife She always stood beside me She never was unkind Now someone else is making love To all the things I left 